On this episode, I'll show you a little bit of our final port stop at St. Thomas on a Caribbean Princess sailing. I'll also talk about why the locals might not be friendly with you. Stay tuned. We arrived to St. Thomas on the 4th of July and the Caribbean Princess was decked out in decorations. It's windy in St. Thomas as we arrive here for our first true port stop of this cruise. I haven't been here and we have no plan or agenda. It's actually raining and so we might go to the beach. We might just stay in the ship for a while until it clears up. We might just go explore. If you're craving a drink, there's a bar as soon as you get off. As always, you can pick up some tanzanite and jewelry at pretty much every port, and this one's no different. Oh, the air condition is so nice going in here. Oh, I was gonna buy this for this trip. Yeah. I was gonna buy this Yeti back home before this trip for $58, and it is $74.95 here, so it's almost $20 more. We're off the ship, and literally this restaurant's already full of passengers. What did you find, Mom? Oh, there's a lot of Teresa, so that's the last one left. What are, what are you buying? I got my sister's birthday present. She just got engaged, and these actually look a lot like her engagement ring because it's a ton of diamonds on it. So I thought I'd buy her some earrings that match her engagement ring. Nice. You already look good. Happy 4th of July. We all saying thanks like me. We're the only ship in town and things are kind of slow out here. I don't know where everybody's at. I think I found my souvenir. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Your mom's just like, <laughs> I'm resigned to uh -oh. this. Have you noticed that like most people are not too friendly so far? Yeah. There's nothing like some authentic St. Thomas Chinese food. We're gonna check out the St. Thomas Sky Ride. It looks pretty cool. We're gonna see how much it costs. So it's uh, $25 and it looks like there's an active military discount of 18 bucks and a few other discounts. Thank you. Hurry, 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 hurry. Maximum capacity. Oh, or twelve people. This is pretty cool. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Just started bouncing around, and they're watching us. They're watching us. Yeah. They were they were laughing and watching us. This is money well worth. Yeah, it was. And we get a trip down too. Look at the ship down there. Look at the mansions. My ears just cleared. We're getting high. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Everybody hang on. Pain only. Hello, good morning. Downstairs is done. The views from up here are stunning and well worth $25. At the top of this route, you can get this famous drink. What is it, April? It's called the Bailey's Bushwhacker. It's famous in St. Thomas. I can't wait. It's so yummy. But I'm not sure how I'm going to feel afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strong. <laughs> How's the drink, Dad? Very good. Very happy. Very happy. The drink. The drink. No. Oh, good, good. good, good. <laughs> I, I love it because, especially because it has cinnamon. I love cinnamon. <laughs> What about that liquor and alcohol? The liquor, um, <laughs> let me tell you later. <laughs> okay. How it works. Okay. <laughs> Mine's a virgin, by the way. If you come up here, make sure you go all the way to the end so you can go to this little catwalk area. It's gonna give you the best shots and best views. We've spent a good hour and a half or so up here at the mountaintop. The island is hot, but there's some really good breezes up here, so it's a good way to get away from the, the heat. We're going to go take a cab to Megan's Bay. According to April, it's uh, voted one of the best beaches in the world. Yeah, we made it. That was actually
actually a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. We were up on the top deck and there was hail. Was actually. Yes, like wow. little. We paid twelve dollars per person to take the taxi to Megan's Bay. Twenty dollars per person. Oh my God! It's beautiful out here. The chairs and the umbrellas are twenty dollars per person, which is kind of a little bit more than we were willing to pay. There are a few green benches that are uh, under the shade that are free. So grab those if you can. This on-site bar and grill was on the expensive side. A burger is going to cost you $20. Drinks were also watered down. The water is very clear and what makes it really beautiful here is the green trees on both sides of the beach. It's expensive. It's like burgers and fries is 20 bucks. We'll have to go back to the ship and eat. Are you going to survive it? Oh yeah, yeah. I have thoroughly enjoyed St. Thomas. This is my first time at this port. We came unprepared or we didn't do much planning for this port. We just kind of played it by ear and it worked out perfectly. Things are a little bit expensive on the island. So we're coming back early to the ship so we can eat. If the locals seem like they're not friendly, big part of their culture is how you do your greeting with them. And so before you say anything to any, any locals, make sure you greet them with a Hey, how are you doing? Good morning. How are you doing? Before you ask them any sort of question, uh, it's going to go a long way with how, how they treat you and how friendly they come across. Getting back on the ship, we will be doing St. Martin's tomorrow. We have a buggy rented for that, and that's going to be a lot of fun. We, we get to see the whole island, so take care. I hope you enjoyed this very short video on our time in St. Thomas. I also hope you remember that manners will greatly affect how you're treated on this island by the locals. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when I drop the next content. And as always, thanks for watching. Here we go. <laughs>